Hello everyone, I'm Maxine Chung from CDN Computer Dealer News, and welcome to our Women in the IT Channel video series. With me here today, I have Corinne Sharp, Microsoft Canada's Channel Chief. Hi Corinne, welcome. Hi Maxine, pleasure to be here. So Corinne, I wanted to ask you, I understand you got your start in the IT industry at Hamilton Computers, and you were hired because the manager wanted a female on the sales team. Tell me what that was like and what was going on through your head through that time. Well, it was my first job in the IT industry, and they were looking for a female account manager. And I actually found that very strange. I didn't understand why an organization would choose gender as a requirement for a job. Um, but I said, okay, well, if they're looking for a female, I said, well, then I'm your one, right? And it was an account manager role within their government system integrator program. And uh, I just felt that it was a great opportunity. And then for me, it was less focused on being a woman in a male-dominated uh, office, it was about, okay, now how do I win, how do I get results for the company? So I actually found it very strange that they were hiring a woman for any job as opposed to hiring the right person. So Pat Nielsen and Wendy Lucas are cited as some of your mentors through the years. How did they help you in your career? Well, Pat Nielsen was the president of the organization and Wendy Lucas was the VP of sales. And that was actually quite unique in our industry to have two female leaders um, senior leaders in IT. So that alone really gave some inf inspiration for me and other females in the business to be able to say, yeah, you can become the president of a major organization. At that time, it was GE Capital. Um, and Wendy and I worked very, very closely over the years, whether it was in Calgary, Ottawa, Toronto. And they were very strong business leaders and very, very focused on the culture of the organization. And I think having the opportunity to really watch how they led, um, be inspired by their direction of the organization, helped me in my career back then and to this day. So Corinne, where did you go after Hamilton Computers and what other roles have you held? So I've been at Microsoft for 11 years and I've held a number of roles at Microsoft in management and leadership roles, both in Canada and have done some international work as well. Um, so that's the great uh, opportunity is working for a larger organization that you can have many different roles. Mm -hmm. um, I've worked in Latin America, I've worked in Australia, I've worked in New Zealand, all while staying in Canada and having the opportunity to pursue various um, career aspirations. So Corinne, you're at Microsoft Canada now. What does it mean to you to be in a senior executive position and also being a woman? Well, my opportunity now is to lead a group of men and women in the business. And at Microsoft, uh, diversity is less about gender and more about diversity of style and having a, a myriad of people um, with different styles, different approaches to be able to drive innovation. Mm -hmm. As a woman, I feel that I can um, act as a mentor where others did for me earlier on in my career. And whether it's in the diversity programs we have at Microsoft, women in IT, that now I have an opportunity to mentor other young women that are either outside the industry that are looking to come in as college graduates, university graduates, or women within Microsoft who are looking to become managers and future leaders of the business. And I really enjoy doing that um, for uh, these individuals, both male and female, quite frankly. Corinne, why do you think there are so few women in IT, and what are you and Microsoft doing about it? Well, I think maybe it has a bit of a bad rap. I think a lot of uh, young people, male or female, they look at it as that you have to have deep technical knowledge in order to get into IT. When in actual fact, there's sales, there's marketing, there's HR, there's finance, as well as the myriad of technical roles, whether it's customer service, um, technical architecture, solutions architecture. So there really are a ton of roles. And when I think back of my career, when I started at Hamilton, we talked about that. And, you know, I was carrying around my luggable compact PC that was the size of a sewing machine and a brick telephone and talking about productivity to customers. Mm -hmm. And now I look at my phone and how there's more technology in that phone than there was in those two massive devices. IT is such a great place to be. Um, for women, young women, they need to be able to see the other side of the opportunity. And I think we need to do a better job of sharing that. So we do that through DigiGirls, where we bring in high schools and teach them more about IT and the career opportunities that are available to them, as well as women in IT and through sponsoring things like e-mentoring through CATA. And we'll continue to drive those types of programs in order to enlist not only for Microsoft, but IT in general to make sure that um, 
great opportunities exist and people know about them. Well, that's all I have for you, Corinne. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Well, I think that people need to explore it, um, ask questions, and I think all of us in IT where we know that there's a skills shortage in Canada um, and young women are looking for places to go that in IT we all have an opportunity to uh, get out there and tell that story and how wonderful a place it is. Great. Work. Thank you so much. Um, pleasure speaking with you. Thanks, Mixie. And that wraps up our video. Please stay tuned at www.computerdealernews.com for more. I'm Maxine Chung from CDN Computer Dealer News, and thanks for watching.